Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how you can add sweet art in your Laravel project or color toaster in your Laravel project. I'm going to show you both. You can use any of them. I love the color toaster, but you can use any of them. Currently, the situation is right now like this. We install a Laravel project and they create a crude application here. Not crude application, just simply a uh, tax form. From this form, we able to add a new tax in our uh, database okay now if I show you we have some validation I if I click on add tax it going to show us the error message that the tax name field is required the tax detail field name is required and if I give the all details here and then click on add tax it going to show me a, a success message tax added successfully but this is the uh, old way to show success message for error message it's okay because it is showing under every field it's okay but for success message showing something like this is really whole process in order to make it modern we can use the toaster or the sweet alert so how to use that or how to use them today i'm going to show you in this video so sit back relax and enjoy the show so very fast all you have to do is we have to go to sweet alert github page and then click on installation there's so many different ways you can include this in your website but for me i'm going to use the simplest way just copy their cdn link and then go back to your project profile or code and inside of your project code at top of any everything at head section okay of your template file that means the file which is going to load in all other pages in your website like if you have a dashboard and a you must have a file called layout right and that layout file going to be load in all pages in your dashboard right so find out that file who is going to load in all pages who is content the layout of your project simply go there and paste it at head section okay the cdn link of switch alert after you include this that means this link going to be available throughout the whole project right because this layout page is responsible for all the pages you loading in your website okay now next all you have to do is you have to find out where you showing the success message we are showing the success message here now i'm going to replace this alert alert success with our sweet alert all you have to do is we have to simply go to sweet alert website go to example and at top of every example i'm just going to copy this one because that's enough for me and then go back to the site code again and then if session has success instead of this if i'm going to create here a script okay s c r i p t and instead of that i'm going to paste hot i just copy it and after i paste it all i have to do is i have to remove this footer i don't need it and i'm going to replace this text with my session message which i have already here okay use a double quotation otherwise it's going to be give you some error because inside of it we using single quotation now it is going to be a success message so the icon going to be success not error the title you can provide like uh, wow or something like this that's it that's all now what's going to be happen it's going to load the suite a lot when the form submitted successfully if you don't believe me go to the website refresh it add a new tax and click on add tax and you will see wow tax added successfully it's showing the sweet alert which is really cool than before but you can see it is stuck on the skin until we click on the ok so if you want that that message disappear after few seconds all you have to do is you have to go to your code again and type here the timer okay timer property and give here the uh, property value of like uh 2500 millisecond okay that should be enough go back to the website again refresh it add a new tax here click on add tax and you will see it arrive after 2.5 second it's gone so this is really amazing right so now you're going to ask me like if i have thousands of these success messages in my website will i need to add this scripts thousand times answer is no all I have to do is you include this code in your template file or layout file which is going to load in all pages of your dashboard and simply it's going to be available everywhere and whenever it get any success from session it's going to display it. 
Now, if you want to convert this, let me show you again. If you want to convert this sweet alert to something like this color toaster, all you have to do is we have to go to the sweet alert to GitHub profile again, go to recipe gallery, okay, then click on color toaster, and here you get some CSS code. Copy this CSS code, okay, just simply click on this copy button to copy it and then go to back to your project file again and inside of your css file include the code you just copy for me i don't use any external css file for this project so i'm going to simply use here the style tag to use them in my project okay then next all you have to do is you have to copy this code you have to copy this code after you copy this code okay just go where you show the swall fire code or paste the swall fire code replace it with what you just copy it okay and remove the await we don't need await here and here instead of this session title success display your dynamic message here and our dynamic message is going to be the session success message just use the blade templating what just use the blade templating and display here session success that should be everything now if i go back to our website refresh it add a new tax add a new tax and you will see that this is loading a amazing toaster right now if you want the using the similar process you can also show the error message but for me error message is okay like this we don't need to uh, edit it okay so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching take care bye bye